What is this? This is a Nick's background check. Oh, I thought at gun shows you didn't have to do a background check. Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay. I know technically you can't sell it, but are any of these fully automatic? Negative. Real quick. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. Can I get a gun here without a background check? No. Son of a... .com. With all the recent demagoguery, it's hard to imagine why any of you heathens would oppose sensible gun control measures. After all, it's your trustworthy president, administration, and celebrities who've let you know that you too can buy an automatic weapon easily without a background check. I don't think it's a great idea that we sell automatic weapons in this country. Listen, during the theater shooting in Colorado, I was able to go and buy an automatic weapon. Gunned down by a semi-automatic weapon, by a fully automatic weapon in that case. There's no reason anybody needs to have an automatic weapon. I'm sorry. I, I... And now with automatic weapons um, can wreak so much more violence. Uh... I think most people can go out and buy an automatic weapon. Wow, that sounds easy. So I tried to buy one. You're welcome. I'm looking for something automatic. There's none of them are automatic. Uh, an automatic weapon, so any kind of... Anything? Big... Yeah, you have machine. Fully it's... automatic? Yes. Oh, no, I don't have a class three license. So I cannot buy a fully automatic. No, no one can really, unless they have like a super crazy license. Yeah, it works. Well, it's a pump action shotgun. I have a 12 gauge I mean, at home. You, you know how the paperwork works. None of them that we can sell here in the store are fully automatic whatsoever. A lot of paperwork, you have to have fingerprints. You don't have anything in the machine gun variety? No, you have to get passport photos. Okay, I know technically you can't sell it, but are any of these fully automatic? Negative. Send that in with a five dollar tax stamp. Which one of these can you know do the most damage? Uh, what are you looking to do with it? You have to have the paperwork signed off by your chief local law enforcement officer. You're probably just you're having fun at the range, right? Yeah, let's call it that. Because that's not something you can just buy and take over. Okay. Is, are you doing like home defense or like what is your? Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, At least. I give this to you? By. No, this all gets sent to the ATF. I can't do it. I mean, to get that home today. There's no way to do that. This can be turned into a fully automatic. Negative. It's a gun show. There's always a way There's to do that. There's no way to do that. So are you familiar on the, the laws with these firearms? No, I just, he told me I couldn't get an automatic and that was the thing, the, the next best thing. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. I'll come back when there's less people. It's not gonna change anything. You're aware that for a fully automatic gun, you need a class three license. That's what he told it's me. Very yeah. highly regulated, right? But, hey, hey, all of just those don't are don't try and crowd my action. No, I, I hear where you're those coming are from. Federally you're federally aware that you it's it's a huge crime to uh, modify these right. into fully automatic weapons. I hear it. You could come in with a million dollars cash, and I still wouldn't give it to you. Is that your intent to make this into a fully automatic? Does it matter if I say yes or no? Yes. Yes. And then so I'll it, say no. Just come by around 515. You can, I won't be here. I'm sorry, yeah, we cannot sell you a gun. To be fair, they may have accidentally interchanged fully automatic with semi-automatic because, little known fact, the closest these legislators who create your gun laws have ever actually come to purchasing a firearm is often when they stop by Dick's Sporting Goods to pick up their parabolics for Aspen. There you go. There you go. Fully automatic, semi-automatic, assault rifle, these are hard terms even for billionaire mayors to know. The pistols are different. You have to pull the trigger each time. An assault weapon, you basically hold it, goes blah, blah, blah. Maybe they won't sell me a machine gun, but what about one of those dangerous semi-automatics bought without a background check through the gun show loophole? We've all heard of that, right? The gun show loophole. You believe it. We all believe it. Sensible people believe it. I believe you, but my Tommy gun don't. When ISIL does training videos that say the easiest way to get a combat assault weapon in the United States of America is at a gun show, then we should all be waking up. It is exceedingly simple to buy guns at gun shows without any background check. We are going to end this gun show loophole. You know, to get more of the background checks done on more of the sales at gun shows. 30, 40 percent of those guns are coming from Indiana, across the border, where there are much laxer laws. Walking into a gun show and be like, I wouldn't pass a background check, I'm a terrorist. But hand me a gun. Well, they go to a gun show uh, in Indiana, where right now they don't have to do a background check. Load, them, load up a van and, and open up that van and sell them uh, to kids uh, and gangs 
uh, in, in Chicago. Not only did I try to weasel through the gun show loophole, but Not Gay Jared and I specifically went to the one in Crown Point, Indiana, that Barack Obama went out of his way to vilify. Well, I was told that I could go to a gun show and there would be no background check. So there would need to be a background check? That's a problem. <laughs> yeah. I was told by the president that I could go here. You believe him? That's a felony and 20 years and I'm not going to mess with it. Uh, no. A DUI. And it's like, I can't buy a gun. Yep. I hit a woman, but she was jaywalking. Pregnant. It was her fault. I have all cash. You think I'm going to go to jail or that? No, no way. Yeah, it was two in the afternoon. Oh. And I shot someone. So don't even go down that road. What you're asking is for somebody to commit a felony. But it's a gun show. Yeah. While you're asking them to do that, you're committing a felony as well. Would they sell to someone who's run over a pregnant woman? Okay. Damn it. But just to be sure, we went to other gun shows and dealers too. Real quick. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. Can I get a gun here without a background check? <laughs> Son of a bitch! Turn down for what? So here, that's just wrap it up and go, right? With the new, I don't need a background check, correct? What do you mean? I can just package this up and take it, right? Okay, what is this? This is a Nick's background check. Oh, what kind of, what is this? This is, you can't buy a gun anywhere in the state unless you fill out paperwork. I thought at gun shows you didn't have to do a background check. Oh no, 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 no. Well, what about just like the, like can, can you just do it like the gun show loophole? where people don't have to do the background checks? It's common practice. So there's no way for me to get this out of here without a background check? Correct. There's no way to get it out of here without a background check. You gotta fill this out. That's okay. the way it works. Technically, I could fill out whatever I want, right? Well, you yeah, have to have your license, your driver's license. You come to a gun show, you got an FFL dealer, you fill out a Nick's background check. Okay, all right. So, but like you said, it's just I can just, just fill out... Uh, I'm hearing you. You pay for the gun. I have cash if that's the problem. It doesn't I don't matter. It. Answer these questions here. I think I'll fill it out with, in a way that will be satisfactory. Gosh. You can just fill out whatever. I mean, we're gonna. What is this? This is a penis. Then what, what's the closest thing I can get? A semi-automatic rifle. Without a background check. Nothing. Treat it like a gun show loophole. I don't. Wrap it up. I don't Bag know. it up. Well, what do you mean? What do you have a problem with? Well, quick, I'm in a hurry. Okay. Can I get a gun here without a background check? You will not be able Horse to. I'm not a fan of the FBI. Oh, I understand. And I, I, I get where you're coming from. Therefore, that's a penis. So hold on a second. Let me address this. I can see the comment sections. In places like Indiana, you can do a private bill of sale. For example, a father wants to pass his shotgun on down to his son. He can do that, but you cannot sell a gun privately in Indiana to someone from Illinois. Not only that, but even registered dealers at the gun shows would not touch anyone from Illinois with a 10-foot pole. And that's just because it's from Chicago sucks. I know the city is awful. Illinois is a crappy state. People are going to get mad. And so it's my home state. All you have is Chicago and corn. That's all. Chicago corn. Sh One of these is corn. What if I were from Illinois? Then you uh, would have to wait. Then you're screwed. There's a guy here, and it's just like all the crap you got to do in Illinois. You got to be an Indian resident. Because they have a. You can't do any good. Can't do me any good? No. I'm not from Indiana. Okay, I can't sell you one then. So what about the fact that the president says you can? What? President Wrong. Okay, wait, wait. So Barack Obama's hometown of Chicago has rampant gun violence. Chicago has some of the strictest gun laws in the country. To be fair, Indiana does have more relaxed gun laws than Illinois. But it's already illegal for someone from Chicago to privately purchase a firearm from someone in Indiana and near impossible for them to even purchase a legal weapon from a qualified dealer. Illinois, namely Chicago, has far greater gun crime and violent crime than Indiana, except for the crappy runoff they get from Chicago. But President Obama blames Chicago's violent gun crime on Indiana? Quick note, this isn't exclusive to Chicago. These rules and trends can be observed in New York and LA and other big anti-firearm liberal cities. We're just using Chicago because it's Barack Obama's go-to. Well, 
who's the president's butt buddy. Therefore, we must close the non-existent gun show loophole and in the process vilify law-abiding gun dealers in Indiana. Do you have a headache yet? Don't worry, that's by design. Hopefully you live in Indiana so you can legally blow your brains out. Oh, I have such a headache, it hurts. Okay, if you like this video, I'm going to level with you here. You can subscribe by clicking my face or the button above. Or you can close this window and not subscribe. It is entirely your prerogative. All I am doing is requesting that you subscribe because we work really hard on these videos and they take a lot of time, but you don't have to. Also, um, there's a pipe bomb in your car. I would recommend you subscribe.